It's mm. President's Day, a federal holiday, so if you have the day off, great timing. Rod, <laughs> fill us in on that forecast. Yeah, here we go uh, with the radar behind me. So here on the west side of our state, the weather part of the story, the active weather part of the story is pretty much wrapping up and ending as I speak. But as we just told you, people without power, we're still going to be dealing with tr uh, tough traveling conditions because of all the snow that has to melt on area roads yet. Still snowing out of Pendleton and over the blues and in the gorge this morning. We have the storm warning up through at least noon and this is still a mess snowing in Hood River lightly. Then it's an icy mix back into Carson, but in the valley we're pretty much dry right now. A few scattered showers. We will see scattered rain showers moving forward. Now we're still around freezing right now. There still obviously are some icy spots 32 in downtown 29 out in Gresham. You get down to the mid valley. It's a different world. Salem's at 47. These are current numbers. Dallas is at 46. So here we go. Ice storm warning expiring early this morning will be 36 at noon at that time to scattered rain showers 43 at 5 p.m. And those east winds should slowly taper off during the day as well, guys. Oh, we'll be ready. All right. Thank you, Rod. We got some new numbers from PGE this morning. It's reporting more than 250,000 customers without power. The majority of those are in Clackamas County. And that's where Devin Haskins joins us live this morning. Devin. Well, good morning. Yeah, while well, some of the intersections here are without, this one obviously is lit with power right now. And it's a good thing, one, because we can show you more what we're looking at. The trees here, this one has at least, maybe at least a half an inch, if not more, of ice. And as it has caused problems all over the weekend, still causing problems today. We went out uh, just on Highway 43 near Palantine Road. The road was closed because of down power lines. We went to check it out. We're going to set up there for the morning, but the constant sound of tree branches breaking or whatever it was falling gave us second thoughts. It was uh, pretty eerie at uh, four o'clock this morning when we were there. Highway 43 is closed for about a mile heading south in that area to military. PGE says that more than 100,000 are without power throughout Clackamas County. Heavy ice causing all sorts of problems with trees taking out the power lines. PGE says these outages could last for days. I hate to say this, but for some customers, it could be as long as 10 days wow. before we've got everybody back on. That That's an extreme situation, um, but we need people to be prepared for the potential for some extended outages. Now, the other two largest hit areas, uh, Marion and Multnomah County, both reporting over 65,000 people without uh, power. The governor also declaring a state of emergency, which will bring in more resources into the area. Back to you. All right, Devin Haskins, uh, a good parent, by the way, you are. But I got to tell Devin, as a parent, he's got to get from underneath that tree. Absolutely. <laughs> don't stand underneath the tree, Devin. Uh, next story is one we're still following. We don't have a lot of information, but the early reports are absolutely not good because the Coast Guard is investigating reports that a car went off the Glen Jackson Bridge there on I-205 into the Columbia River. We know that someone did call 911 just before 6 o'clock last night. These traffic cameras were showing you. They showed crews responding to that spot last night. They searched the water, but so far nobody or no car has been found. Again, we're just getting some information on the story and we're going to bring you more as soon as we learn more. Right now, we do want to check back in with Brian Clerkley, who is keeping an eye on roads for us from Drive 8 this morning. So, Brian, start with where you are and what you've seen so far during your drive. Good morning, Drew. I'm here in northeast Portland right now, and we've been all over the area this morning. Slushy roads, slick roads, uh, and just bad road conditions. But I'm going to turn the camera around so everyone can see. So we're on 53rd and Sacramento in northeast, and this street is closed. You can see that there's a tree that has fallen, and it's now in the middle of the road, and there's a down power line. So we're just going to uh, be really careful. Obviously, we're not going to go down this street. We're just going to back up a little bit. But you can just see uh, the damage on the street. Now the trees are actually covered in ice uh, right here so you can just see those ice layers and you can see uh, the road really hasn't been plowed. This is one of those side streets that we've been talking about. We're right off Sandy Boulevard so Sandy was all right. You can uh, drive on Sandy uh, all right. It was uh, plowed but this side street is just terrible. You can barely uh, get through it without swaying back and forth but throughout the morning we have seen um, just cars that were pulled over on the side of the road because they couldn't get through that thick slush. 
And, um, and we saw on I-84 going east, those ramps are closed around the Lloyd district because a tree is in the road. So you just have to be really careful if you're going out this morning. And one more reminder, um, I-84 is back open through the gorge. It shut down on Friday, but reopened yesterday and conditions there still don't look great. So like I keep saying, everyone just needs to drive slowly. It's really, really slick out. Um, and your car is going to sway back and forth. So everyone just be really careful out on the roads this morning and we will keep following everything. We'll be out here all morning. Back to you guys. Absolutely, Brian. I'll do you one better here. Don't go out. I've got studless snow tires and it is like an ice rink. Seriously, yeah. like an ice rink on those side streets. You just cannot keep There's any so traction. many textures to go through. Yeah, you know, puddles and then the slush and then huge chunks of ice. It's 100 percent. Don't go out. So it's what if we're counting three days now since the first round of snow and ice blanketed the metro area, but the plows and the salt trucks, they can't get to every single street. Yeah, as we've seen, it's just really dangerous for drivers. Take a look at some video of people just spinning out along Holgate and 82nd. This is in southeast or right on the border of Northeast Southeast. Peabot says they have more than 200 people, 57 plows and 70 icers working nonstop. Right now, though, they're only focusing on major roads like Burnside or Southwest Multnomah Boulevard in the Multnomah Village area. Our crews have been working around the clock since Wednesday night. They continue to. We've got uh, more than 100 people on day shift. The city has this interactive website where you can actually follow where crews are working. Maybe see when they're coming to your neighborhood. Just head to our website, KGW.com, for details. You know, sometimes even the professionals get stuck. Take a look at this video. Yep, that's oh. a plow caught in the snow on Northwest Skyline Boulevard. Right now, Skyline is shut down from West Burnside to Northwest Cornell. Peabot tells us there are also trees and power lines down, so if you can, just avoid that area altogether. And a big thank you this morning to Nicole Stavino for sending us this video. Yeah, that's not good when you see them stuck. <laughs> All right, roads still too deep too dicey for TriMet. They have suspended service for all buses overnight and most max lines, but all buses, including shuttles, will run again this morning, a little later on in the morning with limited service. So crews say each bus will have chains and will have to be limited to 25 miles per hour. You can check for the latest updates on your route at TriMet.org slash alerts. There's a lot to get to this morning. We're going to hop over to Clark County right now because Clark County Public Works closed Southeast 347th between Southwest Lawton Road and Southeast Jennings Road. And that's because of those bad road conditions there. This is in the Washougal area. If you're not familiar, that's a quarter mile stretch that has been really windy the last couple of days. And those uh, big winds have created huge snow drifts. In fact, the plows over there haven't even been able to get through. Trash service, by the way, in Vancouver, also canceled today. All residential garbage and recycling is going to get pushed back one day. So if you normally put out your cans today, make sure to do it by tomorrow morning instead. And Friday customers, a heads up for you. You can put out your trash Saturday this week, and that includes your trash from last week because waste collection in Vancouver was also canceled this past Friday. Folks in Marion County may have trouble getting through to 911. Metcom 911 says over the last 24 hours it's received hundreds of calls and it's having trouble getting to all of them. Spotty cell service could also be to blame. They recommend texting instead of calling. The other thing they want you to know is do not call 911 or any other non-emergency line to ask about power outages. Reach out to your specific utility company to find out when the electricity may be back on. So what is it looking like in your neighborhood right now? Eric sent us this from Hepner. He says as of five last night, they had gotten 11 inches of snow and check out this video from Jory. She captured deer running around in the snow in Kelso. How beautiful. And Emily took a photo of the tree in her front yard. This is so sad to see all these beautiful trees just weighed down by ice and snapping. She says this guy was standing up straight on Friday. So show us what it's like in your neck of the woods. You can uh, text us a picture to 503-226-5088. Okay, 